In order to understand some of the characteristics of uh, the animal phyla, we have to understand tissues and tissue layers. When we're talking about tissues, we're talking about similar cells that are organized into a structure that has a particular function. And in order to better understand the use of those tissues in, in large organisms like ourselves that are complex, or simple organisms like some of the lower phyla, it kind of helps to understand how the tissues and tissue layers come about. And so that's what this little lecture is going to be about, just to get you to that level of understanding. We have uh, initially in fertilization to develop a new individual, we have an ovum and a sperm. They will unite to make the first cell of the new individual. It's called a zygote. This cell then goes through a series of divisions and becomes a number of similar cells that are sort of packed into a solid ball. Looks sort of like a berry. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's called a morula, which is Latin for a mulberry. These will continue to divide and they will move to the exterior so that we eventually wind up with what looks like a hollow ball. Hollow in the interior, many, many cells, very tiny around the outside. This is called the blastula. And at this point, we really have one kind of tissue. The next stage will involve an in-pocketing, or what we call an invagination, of one side of this blastula. Uh, you can kind of visualize this if you were to take a toy balloon and poke your finger in one side, it would take the outside layer and start to shove it towards the interior. This little structure that starts to poke in then grows across the blastula until it reaches the other side forming a tube. And this tube, hollow tube running through the hollow ball is actually the primitive gut. It will become the intestine, the digestive system. At this point, we actually have two kinds of tissues. We have an outer tissue forming the outside of the ball and an inner tissue forming the lining of this primitive gut. Then some cells will start to migrate from this initial opening out into the hollow area of the ball and they will fill it up and will wind up with something that looks like this. This would be a very early embryo in which we have the primitive gut running through what is now a fairly solid ball. We have now three kinds of tissue, what we call the outer tissue or ecto Derm. Ectoderm means outer skin. The inner tissue forming the lining of the gut is called the endoderm or inner skin. And then the cells that migrated into what used to be hollow and now made that fairly solid that are called the mesoderm or middle tissue. At this point we have three kinds of major tissues. These will go on to develop uh, as the embryo develops into a, a young individual into different parts of the body. Uh, the ectoderm primarily is going to be the skin and also the nervous system derived from that. The endoderm is primarily going to be the digestive system and associated structures. Um, the lungs are outgrowth of the endoderm. And the mesoderm is going to be most of the body mass, muscles, bones, etc. As we look at this evolution narrowly, relatively primitive organisms that don't really have recognizable tissue layers are back here at the morula stage. We would say they really don't have tissues. When we first talk about having tissues is when we reach the point of the structure that has the digestive system beginning but no mesoderm so it has two levels of tissue and this will be a lot of the very early phyla 
And then fairly quickly you move to the three levels of tissue. And these include us and a lot of the higher phyla. Let's quit there.